Hello everyone and welcome to H1Z1 Just Survive. I'm Buddy1927. This is how to build. This is Super Mega Base Part 5 and the final one. And this will be the final one of the series. We're going to finish up building this base. I've done some little more tweaking and some other stuff. This is where we left off. And as you can see, still got this section right here to do. I did modify the garage. Um, initially, let's go ahead and start walking that way. Initially, when I um, built the original garage in part three, I was able to get in and out of the pickup truck, no problem. Then I logged off and logged back in. I hopped into the thing, got the batteries and spark plug and I couldn't hop out. I had to log out then log back in. So let me show you what I've done to modify this. I had, you have to have an open spot to get in and out of, out of the vehicles. You don't have to do that to get it on and off um, the ATVs but the Jeep the police car, the pickup up truck, in which you can park one of each in here if you're a good driver. Which I don't have one of each. Somebody stole my Jeep. I ha I have this pickup truck and I have an ATV. I also put some rig lighting down here so at nighttime it's real dark. I also put an ethanol. Well, that torch has been there. But I'll show you something about these rig lightings. Okay, this was the first one I was going to put down. I wanted the light shining this way, and all you see is this green thing. If you see the terminals and they're facing you, that's the way the lights go and face. So, as you can see, the lights facing this way. So, if the terminals, it's going to be the way you are facing. If the terminals are towards you, if you turn them around. Basically, the rig lighting, the terminals are the back side of the light, and this is the front side of the light. Let me show you the upper view of this. Now, if you're on a PvP server and you're worrying about raids and stuff like that, and you get a base with inside of a base. As you can see I expanded this out one more um, long one more large shelter and I, ha I had to tear down the other one and with the new mechanics once you have something if you destroy a lower I, I had to remove the large shelter that was here and once I destroyed it, I also had a, I had another upper structure there. It automatically just got destroyed, so I had to redo this a little bit. And I added two walls here to give a little bit more security. But as you can see, I planted my corn, and I got my wheat over there. I got my wheat growing over there. I got corn growing over here, so it's not too bad. But you got this open concept. You got your dew collectors, you got your beehives that fertilize the wheat and so on and so on. But um, one, one of the other things this could be your secure base. Of course it's locked and all that. And you I, you can make this your secure area, put all your high valuable stuff that you want stored in here. And this used the pickup truck to get up and down. But, um, oops. And yeah, the door shut. But one of the things, there's a um, 30 second delay from the time you push something down to the time you put it up. Now, I'm on a PVE server, so I don't have to worry about it, so I have my stairs, but 
what you could do is put keep um, a set of st regular structure stairs and regular upper structure stairs somewhere. Place your upper structure, uh, you place your structure stair down while standing on top of your up while standing on your structure stairs. Place your upper structure stairs, move over, click E on that to pick up the stairs there. You can climb up here, click on E again to remove the upper structure stairs. And that will make this section more secure so you don't have somebody coming into the... If you do have a raid and bases are going to be raided on PvP server. This way you, 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 they can't use these stairs to get up and down. Okay. Now, of course they have to blow this off and it's kind of hard to blow that off because you can't stack landmines or ethanol or biofuels there to blow up the door so you can use that as, you, as your secure door of course put your code on there and we got one two other structures here where we have doors so after, if they blow your gate here to get in and then and so on so they have to use more more devices and they might get all your vehicles but if you use that upper structure there to store your materials and just get up and down there and what you could do is just put a, if you don't want to put your vehicle, use your vehicle you could just put structure stairs there get up pick up the structure stairs and you're inside your base inside there and you don't have to worry about that okay that's the modifications I made in the garage part of the um, thing and like I said you can't you can put oops you can park three vehicles three um, regular vehicles you can park as many ATVs as you want in this thing but one one other thing I've noticed and it, it might just be me I'm blind in one eye so I really can't see since I put walls a wall metal wall here and up a metal wall here and you got this one building going across and you got the wall metal wall there and up a metal wall there it's kind of hard to see the gate if you come in here you might just think okay well you got one door here you got another door here yeah you got another door here it, it might just be somebody messing if you don't have these stairs here they'll have another door you have another door there and kind of messes with our minds so let's finish what let's finish up this base and oops I'm on the wrong side I am want to be able to walk 365 degrees around this base from the second level so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place an upper level structure here where it's overhanging over here like there and I'll just go ahead and put my last upper structure stairwell there I do have another thing I haven't put I haven't put in all the doors but you can walk so far you can walk 365 you can walk all the way up top here you can line line this with B boxes or um, it'd actually be cheaper but let's line them with furnaces so you got places to shoot and 
if you sh attack somebody from down there, you got a place to hide. And stuff like that. So we're going to finish this side up here. And, um, or we put some stairs here, so. We're going to put one there. I definitely want one hanging over here. And, oops, I screwed up. I sure did. I need one more upper structure there. Um, we'll put one here. Okay. And I'm gonna let me go ahead and build one more. Okay, I need crafting. I need eight. Yeah, let's make sure I didn't have, already have one. So I need eight, um, eight metal brackets. I think one day I'll just, I'll just go ahead and make a video on crafting. I'm going to need 16 nails, so that's four sets. Oh. I'm hungry. Lo up a large structure, craft. Now, I didn't, I designed this mainly in my head. I didn't put it down on paper. And as you can see, I have a ton of food. Uh, what do we got here? So let's, let's eat some rabbit. I'm just going to go ahead and top off. I'm just going to move that over. Okay. So we'll go ahead and craft. And oh, cool. Let me see if I can pick up that one. Nope, I can't pick it up. I waited too long. Okay. And now you can... You can walk 365 degrees around the base. Now, this is a big base too big for just one person. You can utilize this for clients and stuff like that. You can maybe modify it. Um, but one thing I will definitely tell you, this is a actually a big base and you have to have a nice flat big area to build it on but don't build it in a valley. Um, guys can snipe you from up on the hilltops and stuff like that. So this be little leery of where um, where you are building your bases so we've made this I still got I still got to do some a little bit more I still got to put some more upper structure stairs so you have a little bit more easier access to things but We've done the base. We made it. So it's not too bad. I know um, one of the comments from the first episode was 
the base looks awful. I, uh, I hope it looks better now. It's huge. I mean, you you can put more structures down here if you if you wanted to. Um, just remember the new mechanics with the doors. Anything blocking the doors, or if the doors hit something like stairs, the door will automatically be destroyed. If the gate swings open and hits a building, it will be destroyed. Um, so just remember those mechanics of the game. I could put, we got our drive through here, I could put a, a I could put a um, large shelter there with the door there. Not a large shelter. You can put a, a shelter here. Well, actually, yeah, you could, but this be blocking your driveway. But you could put a large. You could put a shelter here, but you can't put one here because when when it's when that gate swings open, it will break the gate. So. But you can actually drive around the entire base. You can make another garage if you have more vehicles. And like I said, you you, you got a lot of places where you, you know I might just put a storage box and put one structure stairs and one upper level stairs. And then this place to stare down when I want to get up top of there. Because the only time you want to get up here is to collect water from your dew collectors. Get your corn and wheat or get the honey from the bee boxes. So. Now. I'm going to... Now, I hope you like the design of this base. Um, it's a lot of materials. And this is designed for more like a, a clan. Now, you could also, if you want to grow more corn and wheat, you can put it on top of these structures here. Yeah, I could put another... Actually, I could put a large structure right there. And um, put another structure there. You, you can, you know, you you got a lot more room to actually place. Um, so if you have large clan members or stuff like that, I did put some punji sticks down here. Come on. Come on, come on, I dare you, I dare you to follow me, I dare you. Huh? Okay, let's take a look at what the complete building looks like. I know this wolf is going to attack me. I mean, he does damage to you. And as you can see, that, that actually does not... It looks... It's massive. And you can make this even bigger if you wanted to. Um, good... Let me pull up the map. A good place to probably build this, if you were a clan, would be on um, Ruby Lake. But you can see, you can see how big it is. It's it, it. It's just massive. I'm this. It just takes a lot of materials. And um, let me just go on top of here. So. But this is why I was saying don't build it in a valley like this. Um, if you find a, 
a large area like this that's not in a valley because you are easy if you're walking around or if you're on top of that the base with inside the base you um you're easily sniper meat you get somebody up top of here that's Yeah, sniper from up top here. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> and you never saw the sniper. So that's not that's not too bad. Now I did have somebody message me on YouTube and wanted to know where I got my shirt and my helmet. Well, the helmet I got from the hospital. There's a um, predator. It's it. There's a predator zombie. It, it's it's not a bad looking helmet. I kind of I like it. And and he wears this shirt and wears this helmet. But I got the helmet from the predator zombie. So let me. Let's go ahead and it's the heavy assault uh, full helmet and you kill a zombie and you get the helmet you also get parts um, you also get parts from there but the shirt I I got from a crate uh, it's a common shirt it's the heavy assault polo shirt let me this for right now. Take that off. Okay. And that's what the shirt looks like. It's camouflaged with, um. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. I kind of like it. So. Well, guys, that's, that's it for this base. You got a, a massive area here that you can actually put more buildings on you can make it more complex but you know this is the basic outer this is the basic design you can add more you can actually add more to this um, you can make that garage bigger bring it out this way leaving that open spot so you can get your vehicles in there if you have and have a large garage in the middle and you can add more buildings here now one thing oh yeah there's one thing that I did do on both the east and the west side of the building I added stairs and the metal and metal wall we got the upper large structure covering it if I can get through the door I can't figure it but it yeah I did that so you have I have access from all three sides so if I fell off I, c I can get in there um, I know on a PvP server you want to limit the access you know this this that was the west side this is the east side so, hey, you know that it, it doesn't look too bad. I put some um, punchy sticks around this to make it a little bit more secure. And this is my base. So, if you like this video, please like us on YouTube. Follow me on. Um, Twitter, Facebook, and player.me. That way you know when the latest videos that I do come out. Um, this video is sponsored by forum.com. H1Z1forum.com. Link is down below uh, in the description. It's a good reference point and good place to discuss, check out videos, 
and other places so check them out you can follow me there you can put me on there um, my steam account if you want to message me on steam is the links down below on the description my username on steam and if you like this space I'm gonna make I'm gonna start making a couple series I'm going to start making series on H1Z1 Just Survive this on base building. I'm going to make a little, a little bit more practical ones. Um, I think the next one I'm going to do, if I can put a um, deck foundation on top of there, I'll find a high location where I can put a deck foundation on and make it a little bit more plausible. But this is a massive base this is more like for a clan or not just for one person um, this is more for like a clan and that way a lot of players have access you can park a lot of vehicles and you know stuff like that so I'd like to thank you again for watching and have a great day